When learning to cook, you need to understand the basic methods and principles of cookery. Those principles can then be applied to any dish from any country in the world. Over the next few minutes, I'm going to show you the techniques, ingredients and equipment used by professional chefs globally. Understanding the methods of cookery, it's like understanding a universal culinary language. Hello and welcome. Today we're going to talk about food presentation. A chef is almost a chemist. They have to understand fats, proteins, carbohydrates, also temperature control and how long food takes to cook. At the end of the day though, a chef is an artist and the food is their art. So the way they present their food is absolutely critical. I want to take you through a few presentation techniques which will help you lift your plate and your customers and your guests will enjoy the meal that much more. Now the first one I want to show you is a very traditional method of plating up food. Put the main body that you're cooking, such as chicken or steak, halfway between the centre of the plate and the outside of the plate. Then you can put your vegetables around it, such as your carrots and your broccoli and your potato. Make sure that you don't put the same coloured vegetable next to each other, such as green with green and red with red. Alternate them so it gives the plate more character. When you're sourcing the plate, there's two ways you can apply the sauce. One, you can put it over the steak and that's called to nappe. Or you can put the sauce under the steak and that's called to mirror the sauce on the plate. Either way is fantastic, they're just completely different. If you want to be fancy, of course, you could take the sauce and squiggle it across the plate as well. Garnishing is so important. The garnish also must be edible. It adds a nice little flair to the dish at the end. Keep your garnish relevant to the dish. So if you're cooking something Mediterranean, use some Mediterranean parsley. And if you're doing something Asian, maybe some coriander would be perfect. Lastly, don't forget, the plate is part of your presentation. The white of the porcelain can be a great contrast to your sauces. It's important to have great color, red, green, orange, and also use some dark colors to contrast, maybe some olives for black. Height is really important getting your food as tall as possible. So if you're making, say, fish and chips, get some nice big chips and then put the fish leaning up against it so that you do have that height on the plate. So when you're presenting something like a salad, which has got some large leaves and lots of color, it's really important that we put those large leaves on first. Use your other hand as a guide as well. It's really important to help keep the salad structured on the plate. Every now and again, some green and then some red so the colours do change and then make sure the goodies go on top. It's important that your customer sees what they're eating and that's so important. Smaller leaves can definitely sit on the top. Remember, red, green, white, all important colours when making that presentation so special. A little bit of garnish on top. Also, don't forget, the white of the plate is part of the presentation. And the last thing is the garnish. If you've got a simple dish, you can have a nice, busy garnish. If you've got a busy dish, such as a pasta, keep your garnish nice and simple. Remember, it's not what you cook, it is how you cook it.